we are live it's been a while since i've i've done it instagram live i say that every time i've done one <laughs> um well, yeah let's just wait for some people to join us as you can probably tell i'm in the car um but yeah been a while since i've done one of these it's been a couple of weeks i think since we've spoke so just thought why not do a little bit of a smooth drive home um at 20 to 3 so just been filming some content which was really handy some good content coming in the senses of training um so yeah just try and try out some new bits so this is basically an open q a so if anyone's got any questions about anything let me know while i'm driving through the main streets of wigan um but again one of the things that i did want to speak about is obviously a lot of people are december's a write-off in, in the fitness industry most of the time and the reason for that is because think people think oh what's the point with all these events and and this sort of stuff and to be fair like i'm a coach but i am also a human a human a human as well um so what i mean by that is i'm aware that there's going to be some things on and i'm not going to get you to go to your christmas party and not drink or i'm not going to get to go to your christmas meal out and not eat like i'm aware i'm a human i'm a coach but i'm a human so December I want to come at it from a different approach I want you to think about it like this so a lot of coaches would be no nah, you can definitely still drop body fat in December which you could definitely can with some structure sacrifice etc but I'm going to come at the angle with it of building foundations and as we all know um, if you haven't got a good foundation then you're going to struggle to build a house nice and simply so why not start to utilize December as a way to building foundations, building routines, building habits, not necessarily dropping body fat or expecting to lose 10 kilos, but literally focusing on the on the, the process of getting into a routine, starting to get into a gym routine and the structure, start to understand your nutrition a little bit more, start to plan your wake up time, your nighttime routine, um, all that sort of stuff that you've been putting off in the whole of 2022. So use december as a time to do that and what that's ultimately going to do is it's going to put you ahead it's going to put you ahead going into 2023 because there'll be a lot of people who start on the first of january like to do every single year and it'll take them three four weeks to try and establish any sort of routine so they're going to start their progress in february onwards if they stick at it that is whereas if you can start to build the foundations now then you can hit the ground running in January. And it sounds really simple, but like looking at our team right now and what we're doing, a lot of people are still moving forward in, in December. A lot of people have still got half marathons to run, fat loss goals that they want to achieve, foundations that they still want to build. You know, I took on two clients last week who want, who started right now. And again, it was, the, it was just managing expectations. You don't want, you don't want to miss out on things in December. Absolutely fine. But why don't we just start to focus on X and building the routine first? And I guarantee these people who started last week are going to have even more success in 2023 because they're going to have built that foundation and then they're going to go into the new year strong, sort of riding that wave of motivation with everyone else who gets involved and jumps on the fitness train and the January rush. And it's going to put even people even more into stead going into the rest of the year. So like don't just join the wave at the at the at the peak of the wave like if you're a surfer start to paddle now that was a sick analogy start to paddle now and then come january that wave is going to push you forward so that's what i'm saying is start to build foundations now ready to hit that tidal wave that's going to come in january because we did it on saturday at jamie's events at visions event about 2023 goals we did it with our clients last week at the momentum morning getting clear on what is it that you want to achieve you know it could be the best year of your life it could be the hardest year of your life on the same foot but we started getting yes guys yes jk we started getting um ready for this but it made me look at my goals from 2022 and i advise people to do this so if you wrote down mine's on my ipad if you wrote down it at the start of 2022 these are my goals for 2022. How far or how good are you getting on with them goals? And if you haven't ticked off many of them, it's not it's nothing bad, but that means you've got something to aim for still this year. So like it could be 
I, one of the goals which often pops up we're going to get it's usually based around fitness finances and relationships or holidays one of them something like that but it's definitely fitness and finances people always go on the 1st of January I'm going to start saving more and then you also go I'm going to get my shit in order in terms of fitness if that was your goal for 2022 and that hasn't been achieved yet start now like you owe it to yourself to do that and as i said you're going to tick that box off that you start to doing it even if you you might set the intention of dropping 20 kilos but i don't think many people get to that point of setting that in-depth goal all he says i want to get better or i want to go to the gym more or i want to look after myself a little bit more if that was you at the start of this year start to implement that now as I said, if people are just joining us, you're gonna put you in good stead going into 2023. And the and the the analogy that I use is a surfer. He doesn't just go. He sees a wave and then goes and jump on the wave. He has to paddle out first. He has to build momentum himself before the wave carries him. So be that surfer. Build the momentum through the rest of the year, and then coming into January, hit that wave. And I guarantee there will be no slowing down. And again going to fax figures you know somewhere between 18 and 66 days to build a habit 18 days on the low end 66 days usually on the high end 66 days so that means if if it does take you 66 days to build a, a good habit now and january you're gonna be flying like you've got like 50 odd days probably of not probably not 40 odd days of the year left that's gonna get you in a solid solid habit ready to go into january to then push on from there but as i said if you join the wave in january and you're just doing it because everyone else is doing it and then you don't keep it up and then we see it all the time i've been in the industry for a long time we see it in gyms loads of sign ups in january loads of drop-offs in february it's expected because people have no structure people have no plan they haven't built a habit they're stuck they're frustrated don't be that person owe it to yourself and again i always say this and i said it on a reel not long ago why do I always sound really passionate? Because I'm fucking am. Like, I'm really, really passionate about people. And, like, it's frustrating when I don't see people reach their full potential. And I want you to reach your full potential. Not just my clients. Yes, we look after them. We will push them. And they get even more of this on a daily basis. But even people who follow me, they follow me for a reason. They want to either take inspiration. They want to take advice. They want help with anything. You guys start to action it start to put it into place start to owe it to yourself start to post things start to have public accountability sorry just just people pulling out in front of me um so yeah owe it to yourself to do it yes lou stating facts here brother no again it's true mate like a lot of people they've been putting this off all year round it sounds cliche from a coach i get it Yes, Dec. Um, it sounds cliche. I'm a coach. It sounds biased to me. Oh, star fitness now. But I'm just telling you the truth. I'm just telling you what I see year on year. Like, I'm not slowing down in December. Like, I'm still running a half marathon on the 18th of December. Like, a lot of our team, a lot of 10Ks as well, some 5Ks, they're still working towards them goals. Fat loss is still a thing. It doesn't just disappear like Corona did. Hey, it doesn't just disappear. It's still something that we can go after. But again, as I'm, I'll reiterate, like if fat loss is not on the radar, if you want to enjoy December, enjoy social events, enjoy your Christmas nights out, I'm a human first and then I'm a coach. I'm like, go and enjoy them. But what you can do alongside that is build foundations, build understanding, have awareness, start to tick the boxes. Like when you think of it, yeah, think about it like this. When you start a fitness journey, for most people, nine times out of ten, I would say the training is the fun part and the nutrition is the pain in the ass part. Like, it's never really the other way around. It's never like, oh my God, I'm so good at my nutrition, but I just don't train. It's never the way. Training's always the fun part. Activity is always the fun part. And nutrition's always the, the draining part of the people that, that the people don't like. If that's you, which is 99% of people, start training. <laughs> Like, start getting into the habit of going to the gym, start getting into the habit of moving more, doing fun stuff, whether you want to do high drops, whether you want to do a little bit of CrossFit, whether you want to run, whether you want to play tennis, whatever you want to, if you want to be a bodybuilder, powerlifter, do it. Like, start to build that habit. And what do you think is going to happen? So what, what do you think is going to happen when you've been in the gym for four weeks, you've been training, you've been in a routine for that long, and then, oh my God, 
now I can look at our nutrition and build on top of that foundation as opposed to doing training, nutrition, routine, sleep, stress management, water intake, protein, um, all this sort of stuff at one time. Why can't you just focus on the important thing of, of people beeping everywhere? Um, why can't I just focus on one thing and that big rock being the training at the minute? If nutrition isn't the focus at the minute, focus on your training at least. I said that to my team, I said like, you know, if you're going to be having extra fuel, there's around five or seven events we think that will be happening around December. You've got Christmas Day, Boxing Day, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, and maybe a work night out, and then maybe a couple of events, family night out and friends night out. That's seven days out of 31. Like, people often get mis... mis they, like, they, they think that they have to do everything to be perfect. And I said this, when did I say this? Yesterday, on my story with Andy... It's all about building the foundations first before going, right, now we're going to knuckle down with this, now we're going to drop your calories, now we're going to focus on this. Just getting into a routine because hold your hands up and say, listen, I haven't done anything about this the last 11 months, so I'm going to give myself this month to just build a foundation. Let me try and read while I'm driving. Got myself into a better routine myself just by getting up earlier and doing home workouts. Exactly. Uh, aiming to get 100 press-ups a day and now and feel better already. Exactly. So what's going to happen off the back of that? The home workouts automatically go, okay, uh, I, I like to go into a gym environment now. And then that starts to become a priority. But then you see your, your success with your press-ups. And you're doing 100 press-ups and then it's okay. I want to build foundations with my nutrition now. I want to make sure that I'm not just seeing... Um, progression with performance but I want to see it in my physique so that means that I need to knuckle down a little bit more than that's going to allow you to then have better decisions with your nutrition throughout Saturday day going into Sunday you're going to be more aware you're going to be have more energy you might even feel a little less guilty because you've actually moved that day um, so that's on a micro level so if you think about that on a macro level think about December being that thing where you're that Saturday morning where you're, you're taking off your training um, and then once you've done that, you'll start to get the, the bug or the gym bug of, okay, I've been doing this for a few weeks now and I'm starting to see progress in the gym. Now I want to see progress in how I look and I want to start to optimise my routine. I want to get a whip band. I want to see how I'm sleeping. I want to optimise my stress levels. I want to make sure that I'm getting my protein in. All these different things all stem off that Saturday morning or that December foundations. So I said there, foundations set for December and so on. Exactly. And I say it all the time, like, when is the busiest busiest month in our in our in our um, industry? It's usually January. And the reason for that is because everyone sort of jumps on that train. Whereas realistically we don't know how much space we're gonna have in January because we're saying to people get in the door now, like because you can build a foundation but there's gonna be a mad rush in January, whereas get in the door for coaching and start to build the foundations um, so yeah a little bit of a I don't know how long that was but a little bit of a talk about what to do in December building foundation questions and you you know you, you might be shy to ask me a DM just pop it in here and let's get them answered let's start to help people because I say to my team all the time if you're thinking it I guarantee that someone else is thinking it as well so don't be scared to ask questions no question is a silly question as well, by the way. So if anyone's got any questions, let me know. Or any, anything that you want me want me to go over. Yeah, it's crazy that like I'm just thinking there about that. Seven days between five and seven days that you're gonna have events on throughout December and that's at a max that's if you that's if you're very very sociable um, and if that is the case then it's again it's one week out of four so you think about it it's like it's like getting a, a flat tire and then it's like it's like petrol bomb in your car because you've got a flat tire so a flat tire being the one week yes it might be a little bit challenging you might not be optimal you know you might have to make um, you might have to understand that and manage expectations a little bit more but just because you've got that one week which is suboptimal doesn't mean that the other three weeks should be suboptimal as well so it's don't don't petrol bomb the car just by ha just because you've got a flat tire
that is all. <laughs> Have a good Tuesday.